So now you know a, a parable and an understanding of it. Why parables are written. Why they're in the Bible. All right, to lock out the unwanted, basically. Because you people, you people think that Jesus loved everybody. Well, he just showed you he didn't love everybody. He, didn't, he even had certain people among his own people, and he don't even want to receive the truth. You know, the spirits is deep sleeping on you. The spirits of deep sleep are upon you. Should I say it like that? All right. And one more quick precept. Um, well, you know what? That, that'll suffice. Let's go now to Matthew 22 and 1. And Jesus answered and spake unto them again by parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son. The king is the heavenly father. All right? His son is the savior. And sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. The servants are the prophets. Those that have been to the wedding is the house of Israel. All right? And the two-thirds, they won't come. Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, tell them which are bidden, behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready, come unto the marriage. But they made light of it, and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants, and entreated them spitefully, and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and sent forth his armies, and destroyed those murderers, and burned up their city. And that's twofold. In the old days, the servants of prophets went out and they tried to teach the house of Israel. But they rebelled. They rebelled against the most house. So therefore they got put under curses, sent into captivity. The Romans came in, came in, serving as the army of the most high at that time, which they weren't of the most high, but they were used as a punishment tool. Esau, the so-called white man, again these days used as a as a whipping stick for all Israel. And they came in and they burned up Jerusalem. Alright? They, we got cast forth into all the world. Now in the last days, the Heavenly Father is sending forth other servants. In the last days prophets. To teach the house of Israel. The two-thirds are rejecting the word. The elect is going to get it. But in the end, the Savior is going to send forth the armies of heaven. And find linen clean and white. And they're going to burn up the city. All right? And only the elect is going to make it out of it. The, the chair is going to come and burn up the city. And also, too, those nuclear missiles. They're also described as the army of the Most High, his, for his camp is very great, okay? The nuclear missiles are going to come and they're going to annihilate this place, you know? When we try to teach brothers about the truth, or, or so-called brothers, Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, some of you go to your farm, some of you go to your merchandise. That represents your life, you know? You say, I ain't got time, I'll get with you next week. you see seen many brothers. That happened down here in the Carolinas a lot. Different brothers come on the comment board. They email us throughout the summer. Saying, hey, what are you brothers teaching them? I want to come and listen. You know? You see, uh, in the last month, three or four different guys come up here. Both claiming to be Hebrews, or two different guys claiming to be Hebrews. Get my address, or not my address, get my phone number. Web pages. You know, they say they're going to email me. You never hear from them again. Different guys on the comment board out throughout the years. Send uh, personal messages and, and, and say they want to be a part of the camp. Then we tell them we got to try you out first. You never hear back from them. That's the same guys. Let's read it again. Coming to the marriage, but they made light of it and went their ways. One to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burnt up their city. Now, also too, the prophets that were slain were the prophets in the old days. You know? They ignored the word. Now, the two-thirds ignore the word of the Heavenly Father. And, you know, they, they slew the prophets. They, they you know, uh, tortured some of them. Let me read that. Let's go, back in, let's go back into history a little bit and read that. I think it's in, uh... Yeah, this is 2 Ezra 1, verse 32. I sent unto you my servants the prophets, whom ye have taken and slain and torn their bodies, Whose blood I will require of your hands, said the Lord. And that happened in the old days. Different prophets came to you. Stephen, you know, came to you in the book of Acts. You stoned him. You know, you wanted to kill Jeremiah. You chased Elijah into a cave. You know, you rejected the prophets over and over, over and over throughout history. Let's go to Jeremiah, I think it's 24. And in these days, you're rejecting us again, but the Most High ain't allowing you to kill him. Because if he was allowed to allow, a lot of you niggas would get together and try to kill him. You know? Because you hate this word. It's cutting you up. 
Because our people are wicked like that. Same Israelites coming back again in the last day being wicked all over again. Wicked ass base Jacob. Isaiah 25 verse 4 and the Lord has sent unto you all his servants the prophets rising early and sending them but ye have not hearkened nor inclined your ear to hear they said turn ye again now every one from his evil way and from the evil of your doings and dwell in the land that the Lord have given unto you and to your fathers forever and forever and ever and go not after other gods to serve them and to worship them and provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands, and I will do you no hurt. And we tell you that. Turn back. Stop worshiping white Jesus. You know, stop worshiping Allah, Buddha, all these different false gods. You get mad at us. You know, you talk trash. You make videos talking about we don't know what we're saying. You know, like I had a nigga woman again uh, at the job the night say, you know, that two homosexuals can make it. You know, that's between them and the God they serve. And I told her, look, ain't but one God. And the one God says, Two men should not be together. Two women should not be together. All right? Ain't no whatever God you serve, as long as you ain't hurt nobody. That, that shit ain't even in the scripture. That's bullshit. All right? Yet you have not hearkened unto me, said the Lord, that you might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own hurt. See? So they rejected the word. Let's go to, um, and it's, and it's documented. It's even talked about that. Okay? That's in that parable. Let's get one more real quick. Because that's what Israel always did. Rejected the word of the Heavenly Father. Sent it to them by the servants of prophets. That's why you got put under curse. Uh, Second Chronicles 36. Verse 14. Moreover, all the chief of the priests. And the people transgressed very much after all the abominations of the heathen and polluted the house of the Lord, which he had hallowed in Jerusalem. Right in the old days. Those were those initial servants that got sent out. You know, and you treated them spitefully and you slew them, so the most high got you cast out of your land and he burnt up your city. Which was it was Israel, Jerusalem. And the Lord power of their father sent to them by his messengers, rising up beat times and sending. Because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord rose up against his people till there was no remedy. And that happened one time before in the old days. You know, the Most High got angry, sent forth the Romans, sent forth the Babylonians, sent forth the Persians, cast into captivity time after time. But that last time when he sent forth the Romans, they burned up Jerusalem, left it desolate. We got cast into all nations of the earth. Now in the last days, he's sending you forth again, sending uh, his servants forth again to help seal the elect, to tell you to turn back, but only one third is going to listen. And we went into that. The great multitude and 144,000, they're the only ones that going to listen. The other two thirds, they ain't going to listen. And the Most High going to send forth his armies to burn up this city, all right? Burn up that great city. And all of those that don't listen, they're going to be destroyed. Going back to the parable now. All right, going back to the parable. Matthew 22, verse 5. Verse 4, let's start at 4 again. Matthew 22 and 4. Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, behold, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. Now the marriage of the feet of the lamb going to be when the elect is called up into the chariots and they meet the Lord and be with, uh, forever with him in the air. Alright? Or forever with the Lord and then we're going to come down and it's going to be the kingdom. Alright? But they made light of it and went their ways. One to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and they treated them spitefully and slew them. All that happened back in the old days. But when the king thereof heard, he was wroth and sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burnt up their city. The murderers were the two-thirds. All right? In these days, it's going to symbolize the two-thirds. Okay? The Most High is going to burn up America, Babylon the Great, and he's going to destroy all the two-thirds. Then saith he to his servants, the wedding is ready, 
But they which were bitten were not worthy. Right. They were cast out. But the Savior came and died for us, redeemed the house of Israel back so all Israel can be saved in the kingdom. But on this side, only a remnant is going to make it. Only a remnant is going to return. So that was, that was also the key of the scripture. Only a remnant is going to return.